focus, man. So back to to Brazil, you were you were classifying more or less that uh, Rio would be like Miami, right? yeah, and then Sao good. Paulo is more like a New York. Uh, so yeah, Sao Paulo is more New York. Florianopolis is more like a I mean like a Dallas, Texas. Yeah, just a exactly. place to raise a family, right? Sure. Um, so so yeah, Brazil is Brazil is a very big place, right? And as you go further north, right, it's it's even more different. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, classifying in terms of cities is the way to be. But uh, Brazil's overall, it's it's a great place. Everybody needs to go to Brazil. I think yeah, That's absolutely. One place and me, in I haven't. <laughs> oh no, no go ahead. Brazil is one place I haven't spent as much time as this brother. This brother <laughs> is you know more of an authority on Brazil than I am. Um, it's not my favorite country at all. But I will say that you know what he said about Brazilian people is very true. Uh, about them being warm and affectionate, you know, unless they're mugging you. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> halfway, halfway. Because yeah. because a lot of people do get gotten real. Oh, it's yeah. not yeah. even. They'll let's keep it a bug. Foot, rob your let's keep it a bug. Right they, they, they rob their neighbors. So <laughs> if you was a tourist, yeah, you'll get robbed too. Yeah. Um, but but I would say Brazil is not my favorite country at all. But it's a place that you have to experience. You know, I would never say I regret the time I spent in Brazil. Never, never. Yeah. It's. It's uh, there's nothing like it in the entire planet. You have to go there. You have to experience it uh, and see it for yourself. And what you can take, the good and the bad, and you know what that equals for you. That balance. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Brazil. Brazil is a ton of negatives. I mean, <laughs> the, the one thing about the, about the travel bros that I see. This is the kind of stuff I disrespect. Is is Speak we, on it. we 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 boost Brazil up like it's some amazing place. Mm -hmm. We 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 talk down on the U.S., but have y'all seen the segregation in Brazil and re like it and in that wealth gap between the the whites and the bro? It, yeah. it Brazil is the most segregated place I've been on this planet. Oh yeah, by far, by far. So we 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 forget to highlight that, uh -huh. but we talk down on our own country. Yeah. so that's something we need to do better. I would say in the passport, bro. Community, Arena. Yeah, 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 those let's, guys. Let's, um, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be hyping up Brazil. If you, you should never say something negative about the U.S. Because yeah, Brazil I feel like, numbers. I feel like if you want to speak about Brazil or Colombia, you need to be balanced. Yeah, and that's the thing. So in Colombia, if you look at most videos, they are a little bit more balanced. They do admit that you know, hey, a lot of guys are getting robbed with the scope of mean and stuff like that. that so they're it's, so they're pretty much uh, honest about Colombia. But when it comes to Brazil, it's like just they, it's so defensive, man. They just putting the Philly shell up, man. They don't want no shots getting through, man. They're not they're not trying to let anything get through, man. They they will not take a, a pinch of criticism about Brazil, um, which is really unfortunate because you know you're doing a disservice to uh, to everyone who wants to visit. Yeah. Um, yeah that's it's there's nothing wrong with hyping up Brazil, but yeah. you also gotta, you know, sprinkle a little cold water exactly. of realism on it. Um, exactly. So yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I mean, we're sitting here in Argentina right now, and I can I can speak a little bit about the positives and the negatives to it. So first off, um, he, he already really sang the praises of Argentina. Yeah, I'm let you do. Uh, I'm gonna, I can, I can add a little bit because you've done more. I can add a little bit more to it. Um, I've been in the bubble. He's, so just a quick breakdown. I'm probably going to do a, a much more extensive video um, that'll really go into uh, the ins and outs of the country more than I'm going to talk about here. So look for that. But I'll just say first off, number one, the prices. So this is one of the cheapest places in Latin America and probably the world when you look at the level of infrastructure that you're going to get. Now, India might be cheaper than here. Cambodia might be cheaper than there than here. But that's a vastly different lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, most Westerners would not feel at home in those kind of places. You know, those are very niche uh, uh, destinations, right? 
here it feels like you're in Spain. It feels like you're in uh, Milan, Italy, something like that. But the prices are going to look closer to Colombian prices. So uh, because of that, I feel like the value for money here at this moment is pretty much better than anywhere in the world. Um, and you can quote me on that. So um, beyond that, uh, like I said, the infrastructure, everything works. Um, you don't have to um, be paranoid here. You can walk down the street, not worry about somebody's going to rob me. Yes, it can happen. It can happen in Brooklyn. It can happen anywhere you name on the planet. But it's never happened to me. It's never happened to anyone I know that looks like me here. Um, so if it happens to you, it's probably because you just got caught slipping. You were doing something stupid. You were drunk. You know, you were in the wrong neighborhood. But. 99% of the people who come here, they have no issues. None of that scopolamine crap, none of that happens down here. So I'll say that as far as the positives. Now on the negative side of it, uh, the language barrier here is, it's substantial. You will find people that speak English more in the touristy districts, the more touristy restaurants. People will help you, they're gonna meet you halfway, but you can't just assume you can hop in an Uber and you're just gonna be able to chop it up with them fluently in English. That's not gonna happen down here. Uh, another negative I would say here is if you need to be around black people, it's going to be very hard to find out here. You will see black people. They don't treat us bad. You know, no one's um, singling us out for any mistreatment. The, the cops, they don't even look in my direction here. Um, so as far as that goes, you're not going to have any problem. But if you just really want to arrive somewhere and there's a black community that's already built up, that's going to be very hard to find here. Um, unless you come here and make it and make that community, you know, if that's something you want to do, hey, go for it. Um, so that's all I'm going to say for now. I don't know if you have anything to add negative. Not, man, to be honest, what's the most negative thing in, I mean, me, just okay. me so far from. Yeah, that, that's, that's a big one. That's a big one. There's just no close flights here. Yeah. So whether you're coming from England, whether you're coming from Miami. It's still a freaking long flight, and it's not going to be cheap. Yeah, yeah. Um, expensive. Probably the best bet for you would be Atlanta or Miami if you want to come here from the States mm -hmm. uh, because they have direct flights with American and Delta. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's very hard to get here um, as far as time and everything. But one good thing is the time zone is the same as New York time, time most good. of the year. So if you need to work remote, you're not going to have more than an hour of a difference from East Coast U.S. time depending on whether it's daylight savings time. Because they don't not. switch times. No, right? they stay consistent the whole year. Okay. So um, so there's that if you wanted to work uh, from here and use it as a base. Now, anything else? Okay, so another thing I will say, it could be a negative for some people is, in Argentina, they have seasons. So it's not like <laughs> Colombia or Mexico, where you can pretty much wear shorts the whole year. Like you see you see your brother out here, I got this, um, you know, this long sleeve I'm, I'm rocking. You do have a winter time here. It's not like a East Coast, you know, DC, New York, uh, Boston type of winter. It doesn't snow, but it definitely does get cold. So don't think it's sweet. If you come out here in uh, the summer months for us, which would be May, June, July, August, don't come out here with shorts. You're never gonna wear them. You gotta come um, like fall, fall weather. Come with, you know, your coat, a uh, nice jacket, a couple sweaters, you'll be good to go. Um, no, yeah, I think I mean you pretty much hit everything yeah. that I can think of. Other than that, I mean, I just I hope Argentina's going through rough times right now, um, with the inflation and stuff like that. But in the bubble that we're in, I don't really see it. Like that's true. The the negative impact, uh, obviously, besides seeing stuff literally double in price within yeah. like a week or two. Mm -hmm. uh, so just hoping they open things stay I uh, hope you know riots or XYZ don't end up happening if things get worse in the next few months here yeah I doubt it's gonna come to riots this yeah. this country is uh, very socialist so they, they keep people from not being too poor you mm -hmm. know so the government gives everyone universal health care something we don't even really have in the states also uh, education here is free so if you attend university here and it's a public university it's completely free you don't pay for um, for any of the semesters so that's another benefit here so there are opportunities for local people to uh, to come up in the world you know to be mobile um, which is accessible to everyone as I mentioned as far as how that would affect you as a tourist you will see homeless people but that's any big city you see that in Chicago New York you name it so really for a tourist if you want to come here 
you want to do some remote work, you can come. This country has a very lax um, immigration policy. So if you come here, you overstay your visa, they give you 90 days when you show up. If you end up uh, forgetting to extend and you stay six whole months and you go home, you just get not even a slap on the wrist. You pay an exit fine, which is probably the equivalent of $100. That's and it? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, man. It's, oh, wow. It's been like that for a while. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could you could extend as well, but some people, they don't even Yeah, the process. Yeah. yeah, and you won't, you won't get banned either. You just pay in the airport. They'll let you come right back. Yeah, they'll yeah. let you come back in a week. I feel like they didn't even look at my... No, like my no. stamps when I can't come in. They just, it's, uh, it's very laid back, um, very liberal immigration policy, which is beautiful. Yeah, because you're bringing money into the, the, exactly. the environment and they need that uh, right now. So. Any other topics you want to talk about that I didn't uh, discuss? No, I think you hit the, you hit the, hit the, the big, big ones, ones, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's definitely good to, to make this video with you, man. And so get okay. back in it. <laughs> so I'm going to do my last question, I guess. So, yeah. you know, if we're going to play a little bit of Nostradamus here, you oh, know, man. if you could peer into the future, uh, where do you see the travel uh, community, whether it's passport bros or, okay. you know, just black men who are international expats, where, where do you think that is trending towards in the next three years? Mm. Do you think you're going to see trends going to any particular part of the world or mm. anything uh, beyond that that you think is uh, coming down the line? Oh, that's a great, great question. A question I never thought about, to be honest. Um, I would like, how about this, I would like for us to kind of branch out a bit in terms of the places that we're going. Uh, obviously we have, is it the big three? There's a big three, right? Yes. You know, everybody knows the big three. Yeah. So I think we should, we should go these other places. We should go to the Middle East. We should go to other parts of Asia, not just Philippines, not just Thailand. Let's go to <laughs> speak on it. <laughs> let's go to India. Let's go to all of these China. Let's let's do more of that um, because at the end of the day, it's not just about women. Obviously, that's a huge motivator, and I think that's a good entry yeah. to get people interested in traveling. Sure, is, is about the women, but I think we also need to travel for other reasons as well because that's going to help us in other aspects of our life, such as business or mm -hmm. or just just broadening your horizons overall. Uh, so I hope there's more guys that come out on like the YouTube scene and start showing other places like that. But I know you're going to. I don't know if you want to mention where you're going. Uh, yes, but yeah. I think hey that, man, we, we let it, they already they already <laughs> know not. what it is, man. So. Okay. We're about, to, we're about to jump off this uh, yeah. this one year in Africa yeah. coming up. It's going to be epic. I don't think it's ever been done before. I know a lot of YouTubers uh, will do African travel. They'll do six months, seven months, but then they always go back to the States or whatever. And it kind of, not saying that that's wrong, but I'm just saying it takes them out of that just African-centered mindset. But, you know, I'm going to do 365 days on the continent. I'm not going to step a foot into any place that is not Africa. Um, so that I can really get deep into my thoughts and really show you guys a lot of things that aren't being reported uh, in the mainstream or even on YouTube, you know. So I'm always uh, looking for suggestions and uh, feedback from you guys, the, the viewers, so that I can produce the best content possible and, you know, maybe see things that I could miss. You know, you might have a cousin or a friend of a friend who's in, um, you know, some African country that I'm coming up to visit and they can guide me you know so i don't pretend like i know everything but i'm open to knowing everything and to experiencing everything so uh awesome. yeah i appreciate any collaborations uh of anyone who's who's open to it yeah man i might have to meet you out there uh it's, it's a shame that i haven't been to africa yet so yeah it's a big continent and so um to kind of answer my own question, I posed it to him about what he thought the future is going to entail uh, for black travelers uh, in general. And I think one trend that is inevitable is Africa, man. Africa is it's a sleeping giant, right? It's been there forever. Um, it has the, the biggest youth population in the world. Uh, the future looks like me and him. You know, yeah. it's, it's undisputable, you know, when you look at birth rates around the world. Um, but you're just going to see more and more of us everywhere. And it's important to make that connection between the diaspora, no matter where they're located, in the Americas, in Europe, whatever, back to the continent. So um, just doing those collaborations, broadcasting those stories and those places is going to make the bridge. You know, somewhere there's going to be a, uh, you know, a young teenage kid who 
he's gonna watch one of these videos, maybe not mine, maybe another content creator, and say, you know what, I never really thought of Africa like that. I've only heard the biased things about, you know, people living in huts and et cetera, et cetera, stereotypes, and now I see it's not true. Well, what else isn't true? You know, it's gonna get those wheels turning, so um, that's really what I'm out here for. Oh yeah, I love it, man, I love it. That's 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 what it's all about, man. Yeah, and I'm gonna be talking about the girls too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, that, yeah. that's part of it. If you're a healthy course, man, yeah, that's you gotta hear about that. You know, it's that's, like uh, that's a part of it. You, you can multitask. It's not one thing or the other. You know, balance is being able to juggle multiple things at the same time. So, hey, women is a big part of it, man. Oh yeah, most definitely. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe down below. You know what to do. You're gonna get all the notifications coming up. And just like that, we're out of here. Thanks for having me, y'all. Take care.